Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Game. Check out all these new Team of the Year defensive players we have acquired. Last week we upgraded the offense with Team of the Year players, now the other side of the football got a huge boost. You already knew we were getting that Eric Berry, he's a 97 overall with chemistry boost. We also have Landon Collins and DRC in the secondary, representing the Giants. We even have Janoris Jenkins who's going to be playing slot cornerback. I didn't have in the depth chart, but I did add him before we played this game as TY. Definitely not going to come up with that catch and double coverage, that was a dumb throw right there that we got away with. Though we're going to go back to making normal reads, finding Ezekiel Elliott for the first down. We also have Fletcher Cox in the trenches, Bobby Wagner is a 98 overall middle linebacker, and we even have Sean Lee on the outside. Our defense is scary, scary good as Jimmy Graham with the touchdown. Absolutely must. The poor, poor soul who tried, keyword tried, to guard my man as he goes to the outside incomplete pass. Now our defense takes the field, and I'm really excited to see what these guys can do. And you see uh, Fletcher Cox causing the tackle for a loss of yardage right there. Third down, defense playing great. Locked down. He's forced to throw it up. And it's an incomplete pass. And now fourth down, he's going for it. Play action. Great defense once again, and he just checks it down. That's not, the, that's not the way you want to play on fourth down. A gain of one yard when you need 11. Not going to get the job done as Randy Moss with the catch. And we are cooking early on at the five-yard line. Run commit leaves Moss wide open. I don't know how that pass got overthrown. I got nothing to say about that. Except let's score on the next one with Ezekiel Elliott. Great blocking right there. Zeke didn't have to do much. And we go in and double out her lead up. And now this defense with a 14-0 lead. Scary. Oh, man, he tried to go at Eric Berry right there. That is not a good idea. Now that Berry's a 97 overall, he's as good as ever. And you guys already know Berry just plays great for us. His third down under pressure. And he's able to lob it up over DRC right there. Definitely did not like seeing that next play. Now he's got good field position near midfield and coverage. This time we're able to force the drop. And I believe DRC was able to swat that. So he made up for his own mistake. Oh, my goodness. That was going to be an interception if I believe Bobby Wagner did not swat that. He's testing Berry and now. He's trying to go at DRC, and none of that is going to fly. Everything is locked up. Fourth down, going for it again. With time, not anymore. He goes out to the edge, and Sean Lee forces the incompletion. The turnover on downs, and the rage quit. Moving on to the next one. On to the, oh no, 99 overall Larry Fitzgerald is on the other side of the football today. Our defense is going to be put to the test. This guy's definitely got a good squad as Zeke going to start the game up the middle. Once again, our offense getting the ball. I want to play with our defense, but the offense keeps on starting first as we throw a little in and out route to T.Y. Hilton right there. Going to get the first down, get Derek Carr going. This will also get him going just a little bit, only a gain of one yard. Wish it could have been up a little bit more as we throw the screen pass to T.Y. Hilton, who's getting involved early on in this game. Um, so trying to figure out whether I really like this team of the year, T.Y. Hilton or not, as third down and three. I'm telling you, man, I really like this Derek Carr. You guys might know that I was, you know, using Brett Favre for a little bit. He has the gunslinger trait, and I was like, you know, maybe the gunslinger trait's better than the conductor trait. Nah, I like the conductor trait, man. Give me conductor all day long, and give me Randy Moss to throw to. If I got the Derek Hart to Randy Moss connection, we are set offensively. Now, defensively, we're in a little bit of a pickle of a situation right here because he's running a weird formation where Donald Penn, first of all, is playing tight end, and so is T.Y. Hilton. I don't even know how either of those... Well, we know why Donald Penn is playing tight end. He's got the tight end card. I don't know why T.Y. Hilton's there, though. And on top of that, he's got Terrell Pryor at the quarterback position, going for it on fourth down and three, and he's going to get the first down, checking it down. That's where Janoris Jenkins is. He's in the slots. So we're going to be watching our guys, see what they could do under pressure, just throwing a deep and incomplete out of bounds probably good for him and i went out of bounds the second down a lot of time right here gonna take off with terrell Pryor, who can definitely move and he gets to about the 44 yard line third down and five just keep on trying to go in those flats but eventually those are going to be covered and now once again it's a fourth and short for him going for out of five wide and he's able to convert to that 99 overall larry fitzgerald we got a lot of eyes on number 11 but he's able to make back-to-back -back catches on the drive despite how shaky it's been he is at the 29 yard line but he loses the ball picked up by sean lee and you know who forced that fumble fletcher cox our boys are making plays so far and now it's time for the offense to put up more points second down and nine Derek Carr, all the time in the world but 
Unfortunately, we didn't get much out of that play. There were people open. We just missed them. Third down and eight. Carr with the ball. Carr with time once again. And we squeeze one in there for Tyreek Hill. We're just missing open people right now. We had people open on those plays. We're calling good plays. Just got to make the reads right there. And now we bring our defense back in the game and hope they can make stops for us as he goes at Janoris Jenkins. He's able to swat the ball away. Second down. Pryor dancing. Leaving the pocket. And Pryor going to get a gain of eight or nine yards. Third down and two. Once again, he's third down and shorts. He keeps on coming up with as he's rolling out with Pryor. And he's got the first down to Donald Penn with the catch. Pryor's mobility is definitely killing us right now as Janoris Jenkins got him. Pick six for Jack Rabbit. That's a big, big play right there with under a minute to go until half. He was trying to tie the game up. Instead, he doubled our lead as he throws the screen pass. And that's going to be a minimal game for T.Y. Hilton. That's fine with us. Those completions in bounds right now. That's what we won, but not that deep as he gets the catch with Greg Olson near midfield. He's trying to get his first points of the game, trying to take a deep shot. We have it covered. He's forced to check the ball and throw it out of bounds. You know he won that deep shot, but everything's covered right now as he throws it to Greg Olson. I'm okay with that. I wish it would have been an interception, but nonetheless, third down and seven in coverage. There's just nothing right now for him. Fourth down, comes out five wide. He's had some success on fourth down so far, but he's not able to get the pass off. Sean Lee forces the incompletion off the edge as we go outside for Chad Johnson, and that's going to put us in field goal range. That was a big out route right there because, you know, with him going for it on fourth down rather than punting the ball and us getting that play, free three points for us just you know, gift wrap three points for us <laughs> he is you gotta manage the game better than that in that situation you know you might as well just punt the ball because you're gonna get the ball out of halftime you get a touchdown to one possession game and now he's down 17 to 0 at second down and 10 Terrell Pryor looking to pass and he overthrows his man Donald Penn he came out in this one formation a lot kept on trying to roll out with Pryor and he sees working to some success but he's not gonna get the first down Sean Lee's a tackling machine right now fourth down then three Rolling out with Pryor, and he's got his man for the first down, Donald Penn, who's got a lot of open field, breaking tackles, and he's threatening to put up his first points of the game. Rare run with LeGarrette Blunt right here. He came in a run-heavy formation, but did not run the ball too often. He runs it back-to-back -back plays, and he has some success, almost getting the first down, third and one. Passing this time, Pryor almost threw a pick six to Sean Lee right there. Fourth down and one, running back out the backfield. He's passing the ball on fourth and one with Pryor, and... And, oh, Landon Collins said, no, 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 not on my watch. What a hit. Turnover on downs. These boys are coming to play tonight as we throw the screen pass to Ezekiel Elliott. Offensively, we're a little bit rusty right now. We're missing open people. Third down, though, this would be a good time to find the open man. And we squeeze one into Randy Moss. I'm telling you, man, I don't even notice the difference between Derek Carr and Brett Favre throwing power-wise. Derek Carr is playing as good as any quarterback I play with all year, if not the best. And he has the conductor ability. That's just a plus as we throw it to Zeke out the backfield. But good coverage by the linebacker helping out. Going to force the incompletion. Third down and six. Got time with Carr. Need to find someone and we throw up a rubber ducky that's intercepted by that was just begging to be intercepted by Xavier Rose. That was really dumb. Next play, DRC on the outside getting in on the action. Everyone's making plays, man. All the new players are showing up. As I try to get a little bit cheeky right there, I try to shovel the pass. Probably should just ran it with Derek Carr's throw the screen to Chad Johnson. That's gonna be an incompletion right there. That'll take us to the fourth quarter, third down and 11, rolling out with Carr taking off with Derek. Derek Carr. That is the one main thing Derek Carr has over Brett Favre. Besides conductor, mobility. Dude has like 87 speed. We're booking it once again. Carr almost gets the first down. Takes it to the 31-yard line. The clock a major factor for him. He needs to force a turnover pretty much at this point. And he needs to get some pressure. We have all day to throw the ball. Yet we're not taking advantage of it right now. We're just I said, not making the reads. I'm not the best on offense. Thankfully, our defense is playing pretty well, but we are coming up with big third down conversions. That one to T.Y. Hilton. First down, Carr leaving the pocket once again and smartly sliding down to avoid the hit. Second down. Definitely want to hit Jimmy Graham right here in the end zone. Definitely like my 6'7 Jimmy Graham. Try to hit Ocho Cinco, but he drops the ball third down and four. Looking for Moss in the back of the end zone. And we throw an incompletion right there. Moss stopped back there. It was really smart for him to stop. I just didn't expect it. And you were at like two seconds too late. End up selling for the field goal. I was just like trying to see if I could get touchdowns. Let's try and try out some plays. But now we bring the defense out one more time to try to complete the shutout. 
I really want to get a shutout with this team. We're playing so well. Even though the game's already pretty much in hand as he gets a nice throw and catch right there. I don't want him scoring any points, man. There's pride on the line. Off the edge. Almost getting the sack. Second down, though. He goes outside and he's got his man. This guy's trying to get some points on the board, too. That's the thing. It's a little... It's like he wants to make sure he's not getting shut out. He's calling his timeouts and all that. I'm trying to make sure he has goose eggs on the board. Second down and three. Terrell Pryor under pressure. And he almost threw another interception in the back there third down and three now prior 10 seconds left they try to avoid the shutout leaves the pocket and gets rocked rocked by eric berry eight seconds left looking in the slot but it's incomplete he had a chance right there wide receiver couldn't make the catch in traffic four seconds left might be the last play maybe not because george jenkins swats the ball and leaves him one second left to take a shot for the end zone prior rolling out prior gonna do it himself and he's taken down and the game ends 20 to zero and i'm man i'm happy we got that zero right there these defensive players man it's not just that there's a bunch of really good cards that came out for team of the year defense it's some of my favorite players in the nfl you guys know i love eric berry landon collins young safety for the giants drc bobby wagner's a stud and these guys all showed up man that was a lot of fun to play with leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed watching that subscribe for more man 17 ultimate team whatever man 17 you like and i'll catch you guys next time